Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here with HealthLink, looking for the most trusted business owners throughout the world. I'm pleased to be joined today with BJ Strami, owner of Pop Mindset. How are you today, BJ? I am fantastic. How are you, Thank Brad? You. I'm doing great. Thank you so much for joining me today. Absolutely. I told you before we started, I thought that was snow outside, but I guess it's not. If you it's could, light. just tell the audience uh, who you are and what your business is. Okay. Well, I have been an entrepreneur for over 37 years. I was in banking for 10 years, and then I was introduced to working for myself. So I did that in the skincare and spa industry. And what I learned was people really are the heart and soul of your business. And I teach entrepreneurs now on how to really be comfortable with working with people, not so much about your product or your service, but just really connecting with people and dealing with what's going on in your head. So I love it. Uh, it's a ton of fun, challenging, but uh, as you know, Brad, very rewarding to work for yourself. Yeah, and especially when you're not only changing someone's maybe mindset, but helping out with their business and their finances also, um, that's, mm -hmm. that's huge for you. Now, I knew you were the real deal and a trusted business owner because you, you practice what you pe uh, preach. You have a video right at the top of your website um, speaking to the person visiting, and I think that's awesome. So good job for doing that. Tell us a little bit about the type of people you work with, entrepreneurs, at-home business owners. Um, who's that person that's watching right now? Okay. Well, direct sellers, definitely, because that's a market that um, is challenging in some ways because it has a reputation of being you know, salesy and um, all about the product and not about the people, which is not true because you know, direct sales and MLM, they usually get into those businesses just like an entrepreneur who wants to run their own insurance agent agency. They do that because they care about people, they love what they have, and they think it'll make a difference financially or, you know, personally. So I love working with direct sellers, MLMs, independent um, agents in their own businesses, even realtors, because anyone who is responsible for their own marketing you know, marketing their own business or their service, they have fears and obstacles and things they have to get around, and they really, truly need to learn how to effectively talk to all four personalities in that language so that person that they're speaking with really feels heard and learns to like them, wants to do business with them. So those are my ideal clients, people that are serious and want more out of their business, and that's what they're missing is maybe that people skills. Hey, you're hitting on some really good points, something that we try to do for our business also. So I think that's that's awesome that you're pointing this out. You know, a lot of people have it in them, I think. They just, it's not pointed out to them. It's not a plan of action that they even thought about. So you're you're definitely helping them with that. You mentioned 37 years ago you were, you know, working um, skincare and you transition into this. I'm only going to guess in my head what, I, what it was that you were doing, but tell us where it started. What transitioned you from the banker to the skincare to helping uh, entrepreneurs? Well, I tease people all the time because I, I tell them there's no reason for me to be in skincare in the beauty world because I, I wore mascara and drove a pickup truck. You know, that's hilarious. Um, but somebody at work, I went from banking to accounting and someone came in one day and said, oh, you have to come to this party. And I'm like, really? You know, I'm 20 years old. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, I, I don't have any money to play with stuff like that. But I didn't have a way to tell her no, you know. And so I also tell people that really, again, it's those people skills. When someone invites you to something, it's a whole lot stronger than a text or an email. Yeah or a Facebook message. And I had that, that voice invite and I didn't have a way, I didn't have anything else I was doing, didn't have a way to tell her no. So I went to the party and I honestly, I just fell in love with what it did for my skin. Yeah. Didn't have anything to do with what the woman said. I don't know what she said. I just went, oh my gosh. It worked, it worked for you. Yeah, and they said you could make money and I'm like, ooh, I like money. So okay. I started so, yeah. my journey. So you decided yeah. to join with them, uh, start marketing their product. And then transitioning from that to helping others, I'm sure you were probably successful if you had already realized the relationship part of it. Um, if not, maybe you weren't successful. So maybe that's where it, the change happened, right? Well, both, Brad. I was in, I've been in that industry for a very, very long time. And I was in the industry for probably close to 20 years and I was doing fine. I'm a single mom, raising my kids, managing to make it work, but I knew there was more. 
So that's when I started to invest in a little bit more personal growth. I invested in trainers, I invested in programs, I invested in me. And when I learned these skills that I now teach, I doubled my commission check. And in that industry, I mean, I've been top in sales, I've traveled the world, I've earned three international trips within that company. Um, and I've got a team of, you know, all over the entire United States. So that's why I knew that the skills that I developed and the skills I had learned were valuable and would really help somebody else be able to move forward. So I went from there saying, you know, I'd like to be able to work with a wider audience. I'd like to teach a larger audience. And that's why I developed Pop Mindset because it's not, it's not about a product. You know, it's not about one company. It's truly about the skill sets. And it's they've both been very, very rewarding. I love them both. Um, but it, it is all about the people skills. And so investing in yourself is the strongest thing I can ever encourage anyone. You're going to have bumps. You need a coach. We need somebody that holds us accountable and encourages us and gives us tools and techniques that we can grow from. So that's kind of a little bit of my journey. All right. Well, I like it. Um, I'm on your website now, and I love this. I mean, this is your four main keys to your success. Mindset, communication skills, intentional actions, which you might touch, touch on, and then the commitment to ongoing education, which you just touched on also. Um, so we did the education. What do you mean on intentional actions? We know communication is building the relationship, and then also the mindset. The um, well, it starts with what you're thinking here, and if you if you're thinking positive and you're dealing with that, then you're going to be able to speak with people out of a, a good place, out of a happy place, out of a oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, and intentional action comes from when you know what you want. You've told your unconscious mind what you want. You're so excited about it, you almost can't help yourself. So, for instance, if you're going to go shopping for a car, and you knew you wanted a red Ferrari, right? You wanted it so bad you could taste it. Everywhere you go, you'd see red Ferraris. I mean, they would just pop out. You'd be like, I didn't think anybody owned a red Ferrari. I thought this was going to be unique. You would want it so bad that you would make it happen. That's intentional action. You're doing it because, because your desire is so strong. A lot of times they say, you know, do it till you feel like it. Well, there are times we have to do that. But truly, it still comes back to there's still a motivation, even if it's, you know, do it till you have to. Well, the motivation might be, I just want to get this off my back. It's still exactly. intentional action. You're doing it for a purpose, and you're doing it because you want to do it. You need to do it for some reason. That's intentional action. It's, it's far more powerful when you, you've told your brain what you want it to do and what you want it to look for. You're going to get the results you need. I love it. So you're helping them with their mindset, um, you know, speaking that into them where they're motivated on how to build relationships and then helping them with education. I think you're just providing that all around, you know, mindset and helping them anything you can. So I think that's great. Tell us a quick maybe testimonial or some feedback you get from your entrepreneurs. Well, one of my favorites, and it's on the website, is um, Allison. She's a travel agent, and she's been to – most of my retreats because she's investing in herself and when she started to use the um one of the things i teach is the personality profiling it's called are you my flock because birds of a feather flock together and when she really started using that and she used my resource notebook tool which is a, an effective way to do coffee dates and interviews her income went higher in the fourth quarter than it had ever been for the whole year so it's exciting. That is exciting. And I'm sure it motivates you to just keep pushing, pushing that and helping them. Yep. All right, BJ, we're all ready to get signed up with you. Where do we start? <laughs> Go to popmindset.com, yep. sign in, and you will have a choice there on whether you want information on the upcoming webinars and upcoming events, whether you just want information on the Are You My Flock, which is the personality profiling, or you just want tips and tools. So you can choose what you want um, information on. And the very next thing I would invite anybody to is go to the events, the upcoming events page, because I love to teach hands-on. Yeah. And I have online, so if you can't come to me, there is online. But we do have retreats that I do at least three times a year. And this is my opportunity to pull you away from everything you're doing so you can really 
immerse yourself in learning. So our next one is in Cannon Beach, Oregon, on the gorgeous coast, and it's in February. So I invite everybody to just come check us out. All right, that sounds great. And that I think that goes up, you know, right along with the relationship builder. If you can meet them at the events and uh, do your the coffee dates and the networking, I think that's awesome. Uh, before uh, you know, we jump off. I want to one key maybe tip that we can all start implementing to build relationships with potential clients. Uh, what's one thing that everybody could just start with? Basic starting point. I would say start with your head and know that people want to be friends. People want to connect in a way and they want to be heard. So learn to listen and not have your head going, what's the next question I should ask? Learn to stay in the, in the conversation. Listen for clues on how you can help someone, either through a resource you have or through your own service. So they really feel like you heard them and connected well. So that'd be my one tool is learn to listen really, really well. Yeah, it's not so go. scary to call someone, right? That's right. That's right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. They can also follow you on Facebook, Pop Mindset on the Facebook. We'll post the link above or below. They can connect with you there. And we definitely okay. recommend you, BJ, anyone watching, you know, if you want to get educated and start building your business, focusing on relationships first, you know, really reach out to BJ, check out her website. Uh, she's a great mentor and a great coach. So thank you for everything that you do. Well, thank you so much, Brad, for reaching out to me. It was great to meet you and I appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah, great to meet you too. Bye-bye.